Welcome to Electron Online and here's our next video that we need in the quest to understand the differential form of Gauss's law. Now what we're going to do here, because in the previous video we saw that when we take the divergence of electric field, we get the change of electric field as a function of position. So how fast is the field changing? Well the divergence can also tell us something different. <clears throat> so for that we're going to do an example here where here we have an electric field that has no components in the y or the z direction, only a component in the x direction, and notice that it does change with position. So here I have the xyz coordinate system. I have the x-axis to the right, the y-axis into the board, and the z-axis up. Notice that if we turn the whole thing around this way, it looks like our typical coordinate system, but I wanted the x direction to be in the direction of the board, which means that we have an electric field from left to right, which changes according to this equation right there, which means that at the origin the electric field has a strength 5, and of course that would be volts per meter. If we travel 1 meter to the right, we plug in a 1 for x, 5 minus 2 gives us 3, that means the strength of the field at 1 meter away from the origin to the right will be 3 volts per meter, and so I wrote that right here, 5 volts per meter here, 3 volts per meter there. If we travel another meter to the right, and now x is equal to 2, 5 minus 2 times 2, that's 5 minus 4, which is 1. So at 2 meters away from the origin, the field would now be 1 volt per meter. So you can see the field is getting weaker and weaker in the linear sense as you go from the origin out to the right. So what I did now is I drew a box. So I have a box that is 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. That means the electric field strength on the left side of the box is 5 volts per meter, and the right side of the box is 3 volts per meter. I can then also find the electric flux that goes into the box from the left at the uh, position of the origin and the electric flux is equal to the strength of the field at that point times the cross-sectional area of the surface that I'm interested in. And so it would be 5 volts per meter times 1 square meter or 5 volts times meters of flux going into the box on the left side. Notice that on the right side of the box how much flux comes out of it well, that would be equal to the strength of the field times the area. The strength on the right side of the box is 3 volts per meter because it's 1 meter away from the origin times 1 square meter. So the amount of flux coming out of the box is 3 volt times meters, which means there's more electric flux going into the box than there is coming out of the box. So there's a delta flux. There is a certain amount of flux that somehow gets lost. Well, that's not really what happens, but you do realize more flux goes in, less flux comes out. There's a difference between the amount of flux going in and the flux going out, which is part of Gauss's law. Because that will then make sense in this particular form of the equation. Notice there's no flux going in the z direction, there's no flux going in the y direction, only in the x direction. Okay, let's now look at the interpretation of taking the the what we call the diversion of the electric field. There's two ways of looking at that in, the, in a sense. And so what we're going to do first is simply do the mathematical thing. We're going to take the diversion of the electric field. Notice since the, the y and the z components are zero, that these two components will be zero. We don't have to worry about it. And the derivative of e with respect to x, well, that would be equal to the derivative with respect to x. That would be the electric field strength in the x direction of the quantity 5 minus 2x. And of course, if we take the derivative of that, what do we get? We get minus 2. What are the units for here? Since electric field is in terms of volts per meter, if we then take the derivative with respect to x, we will get volts per meter squared. So the units will be volts per meter squared. And so that would be the, um, the change in the electric field as we go to the right in terms of moving in the x direction, which means the, the field is getting weaker two meters for every meter that we travel to the right. So if it's five volts per meter here, it's three volts per meter there, it's one volt per meter there, it's minus one volt per well, we can't have a negative. Well, I suppose it could turn around, and start pointing the other direction, that will work as well. Just realize that the field is getting weaker as we go to the right. So that's one interpretation of the diversion of the electric field. It tells us how fast the field is changing as a function of position. And so it's changing the same amount no matter where we are, so that would be a good interpretation of the diversion of the electric field. Another concept of the diversion of the electric field is by drawing a box like this and to realize that the divergence of the electric field is equal to the difference of the flux coming out of the box. So this is the flux. So that would be the flux 
coming out of the box minus the flux going into the box divided by the volume of the box. All right, if we take that interpretation of the divergence, flux out, we realize here the flux out would be 3 volt times meters. So that would be equal to 3 volt times meters coming out of the box minus the flux going in the box, which we realized was 5 volt meters. So it would be 5 volt times meters divided by the volume of the box. And of course, we know the volume of the box is 1 cubic meter, 1 meter cubed. And so the result of that would be 3 minus 5 is minus 2 volts times meters divided by meters cubed, which is minus 2 volts per meter meters squared, which is the exact same result that we got by simply taking divergence mathematically. So you can see that, therefore, the two concepts of the divergence are perfectly in sync with each other. So we can look at the divergent electric field as simply a measure of how fast it's changing as a function of time. Uh, not, whoop, whoop, that was wrong. As a function of position, in this case in the x direction. And we can also tr think of it in terms of if we take a box like that, we calculate how much flux is going into the box, electric flux, how much is coming out. The diversion of the electric field is the difference between the flux going in versus the flux going out and divided by the volume of the box. In the later video, we'll see why the volume of the box is important because if the field doesn't change linearly like this, we have a little bit of a problem which will necessitate us to make the box infinitely, infinitesimally small. But that's for the next video. At this point, if you understand this, you're well on your way to understanding the, the differential form of Gauss's law. Taking the, 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 taking the divergence simply can be interpreted like this, or it can be interpreted like this. And it gives you the very same result. Again, the point is, it tells you how fast the field is changing as a function of position where you want to measure that. Okay, so, so far, hopefully, so good. If you're still interested, come and look at the next video, and now we'll see what happens when the field doesn't change linearly but non-linearly, and how we interpret the same diversion of the electric field.